Hello and uh, welcome back to making your own biodiesel at home. In the first uh, film I uh, showed you how to make the biodiesel. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to wash, clean and dry the biodiesel. I've allowed this to separate. Um, as you saw in uh, video one, film one, you saw me actually making this. I've actually allowed this uh, a few hours to uh, to separate and to actually uh, um, do its stuff. As you can see at the bottom, the dark matter is the glycerin. This is the cream, this is the biodiesel. So what we're going to do next is now wash it. Wash it is uh, pretty straightforward to say the least. I'm going to use my chopstick again. So what we want to do is pour off the diesel, the biodiesel, into the container without spilling too much of it and as you can see it's a lovely amber type of colour. Okay, oh it's one of the best smells is uh, I love the smell of biodiesel in the morning even though it is evening but uh, it's a lovely smell it really is it's got a mapley a sweet smell to it well mine mine has because of the oil that I use I use uh, um, oil that's been done in spicy chicken or chicken that's been done in um, spicy chicken that's been done in cooking oil so uh, you do get traces of the smell coming back and the smell that I'm getting back is the the sweet smell of the methoxide and uh, and the oil that I used right next process is I'll just clean up this mess quickly is to actually wash the biodiesel like I said I only let this um, settle for a few hours really you need to let it settle for six hours or a little more eight nine hours um, but because I'm making a, a video then obviously I've, I've got to cut a few corners here so what we're going to do is introduce the water what we what, what we want is to add about a quarter of um, the quantity of oil we want to we want to add a quarter of that volume in water so what I'm going to use is a is a simple atomizer just to, to show you the process now what I generally do is uh, I've got a big a big wash tank type of thing that I've actually made myself once I've drained off the glycerol I've got a tap at the bottom of the container the wash tank and that drains off the glycerol with, without having to um, move my oils from bucket to bucket which can be back breaking if you if, if, if once you actually get to uh, making into um, a good stride of making biodiesel then uh, getting yourself a wash tank will save you so much time and agony in the back um, so what I generally do is uh, drain off the the glycerin and then I'll just using using a watering can with a fine sprinkler nozzle at the end I'll just pour the water on top of the oil and stir it in a little bit um, it's important not to stir the water too much because if you do you'll end up with a foamy um, soap which may not separate or if it will or if it does it will take a long time to do that so don't stir your cleansing process too much so here we go we don't want that water mixed too much so here we go As you can see, I give it a little bit of a stir, but not too much. You don't want to agitate it too much because uh, it will cause, uh, like I've said, problems that we don't need. It just slows the process right up if you uh, agitate it too much. And I am stressing that because uh, I've been there quite a few times. That's probably where I've gone wrong in making biodiesel, is actually in the cleaning process. Um, more than anything so we'll give that a little stir not too much that's that's enough um, now what's going to happen is the water is going to fall through the oil as you know oil and water do not separate so what happens is the water um, lowers itself down to the bottom as it does so it will actually cling on or the actual methoxide and other traces of um, bits that we don't want in there will actually be drawn down with the water 
hence the wash that is all there is to it and as you can see there's probably you can I hope you can see that there's a bit of a separation occurring at the moment now we want to leave that for at least three hours um, it's best to do it in a, a warmer place um, as uh, warmth obviously helps the separation winter time can be a bit of a problem for for, for drying biodiesel unless you've got a, a warm place to actually allow that process to happen um, generally i stop making biodiesel during the winter time but i do stock up with oil during the warm periods of the season so i've got plenty of uh, biodiesel to see me through winter but like i said during winter time i will go with a 50 50 mix biodiesel to road diesel um, and as you can see the bottom there as you can see is a cre is a, is a thick fluidy water fit that is all the the stuff that's the meth oxide and traces of other um, sediment that we don't want in the biodiesel now I've washed that once what I tend to do is I'll wash it three to four times and I will carry on that doing this process until that water at the bottom is literally clean once that has occurred through the washing process then that oil is absolutely clean so like I said wash it as many times as you like but I go that little bit further just to reassure myself that there's no uh, there's no elements of uh, um, meth oxide in there and other bits so as you can see that's uh, that's that's what you're looking for the separation right okay there it is this is the wash process I'm just trying to think is there anything I need to add to this during the wash process there isn't really that's that's all you need to do but like I said do not um, agitate the process the mixing of the water too much use a watering can with a fine sprinkle on the end or as I use as well I use a, a hose pipe um, with a very fine spray nozzle and I will stand there for a good 10 minutes with a fine spray allowing that to actually pass through what I do before I actually um, introduce the water is I give the oil a good stir so there's motion and it's moving around I'll leave that for a few seconds and then I will add the water and that allows it to actually evenly move about and fall through um, so once you've washed it three to four times you are then left with ah uh, the cream the amber nectar this is biodiesel this is totally finished this has been left to dry now the next process is once you've actually washed your biodiesel obviously you pour off the oil or if you've got a wash tank drain the water from the bottom of the wash tank and pour off the oil and get rid of the water and um, that's you like I said that's uh, um, a process that can be a bit uh, um, tedious and backbreaking and very messy um, so there it is the next thing to do once this has been washed uh, three or four times then put it in a large open container and allow it to dry um, the drying process is just a matter of allowing the water for a few days or the oil for a few days three to four days maybe even longer de de depending on the actual temperature outside to allow the water the water in the the oil to evaporate um, so that's the drying process is leaving it in a large open container away from water preferably indoors of course unless you're uh, living in a uh, a wall-to-wall -wall sunshined area um, which we don't here in the UK it's pretty wet sometimes um, and allow that to to dry and then voila the biodiesel the next thing to do is to contain it now what I do is uh, I'm wrestling with this thing right come here I'll actually contain my biodiesel in a black polyurethane container thick 
and that will suffice to actually uh, contain your biodiesel. Um, so it's as simple as that. That is the process of making, washing, drying and containing your biodiesel. Um, I hope that what I've actually uh, mentioned here has made sense and that you've actually taken, uh, taken from it and I hope you've enjoyed my uh, process of making biodiesel. Um, I'm pretty confident with that and uh, um, there it is. Uh, any comments or anything please do leave a, a comment and uh, I'll get back to you if you've got any questions so be it just 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 please um, um, write it down send me a, a message or a comment um, well there it is that's all there is to making biodiesel and with that I'm gonna say tatty bye and uh, happy bio motoring um, it will save you a small fortune believe me this is saving me 30 pounds sterling a week times that by whatever and uh, by the end of the year I could probably get myself a I don't know a nice TDI Volkswagen <laughs> anyway um, all the best and like I said I hope you've enjoyed uh, this small principle of making biodiesel Ciao for now.